Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 48-year-old Florida Oath Keeper and former Green Beret Jeremy Brown has been sentenced to prison. But this isn't about what he did on January 6th. You guys might recall um, when the FBI searched his home in relation to his actions at the Capitol, they found illegal weapons, they found hand grenades, classified documents. So Brown was charged with numerous crimes, but he kept citing conspiracy theories and he kept saying that he was going to blow the lid off of the FBI's true intentions. He alleged that he was being targeted because he refused to act as an informant for the Oath Keepers or in the Oath Keepers. Brown made all of the rounds on right wing podcasts. He was on all these different shows vowing to expose the deep state and all the lies. Well, he never did that. And in December of 2022, he went to trial. He was convicted of six crimes and the sentencing guidelines call for a term somewhere between 87 and 108 months. And the prosecutor argued that Brown should get the higher end because they claim that he lied to the jury. And the judge wasn't happy with him either. U.S. District Judge Susan Bucklew had presided over the case, and she said that although Brown's military service was exceptional, quote, you've absolutely accepted no responsibility for what you've done in this case, and you were defiant to the end. You essentially, in many ways, held yourself above the law. So in the end, she sentenced Brown to seven years in prison for just this crime, or these crimes, I should say. And Brown has been in jail now for the past 17 months. So he will receive credit for time served, but he's still facing sentencing for four misdemeanors from the Capitol attack. He had a hearing in that case on March 31st, but he hasn't accepted a plea deal yet. There's no trial date scheduled, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not sure of the timeline on that one. He may have been waiting to see what was going to happen with this case to determine, you know, should I just let it roll and, you know, go to trial on that, too, if I'm already going to prison. So anyway, I'll let you guys know when there's movement in that case. But yeah, seven years for weapons that he claimed you know, he had every right to have, and um, he may have even taken them to the Capitol on January 6th, because remember, they were supposedly found in his RV that he drove to D.C. Um, and this is the guy, too, who was in the process of moving, and he had in the photos on like Zillow, Realtor.com, all these different websites, there were photos taken inside his home where he had a whiteboard with all of his breakdown of of like how he was going to go on the ran on the run and basically live off the grid and it talked about weapons it talked about explosives i mean damning stuff so anyway guys i will let you know as i said when i hear more about january 6th Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it with everyone you know. Please become a subscriber if you have not already. Um, if you can financially support the show, it really, really helps. Um, if you can become a monthly supporter, that is even better. Really helps to me to project out where the show is heading and uh, keep things moving along. So appreciate all of you. Love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.